citizens of Madrid. We say culture is broad and it's a habit of people from a week until their son. For the example, like for Muslim people, they are when they are come and they go from their house, they will uh, say like assalamualaikum or wassalamualaikum and so on and so forth. We say that socially disadvantaged communities here as a minority and, and a domination, dominant culture is coming from the majorities itself. We say that cultural assimilated, culture as, culture assimilate is when minority follows the majority habit. For like for the example, when a Christian people goes to the Muslim people's house, they will also uh, say like assalamualaikum or some assalamualaikum and so on. Uh, going to my argument here, I have two points of argument. My first argument, why cultural assembly is very important for us as minorities. We say here that minority is already, minority is already being, a dis, being disadvantaged. There's a prejudice, bad prejudice coming from society, racial bias, religion bias, and so on and so forth. And how does it look on the ground? First, the minority still grew in a private school. For the example, we can still see the access of a, of a private school for the Christian people and for, for the Christian students and so on and so forth. Secondly, the uh, Chinese descendants that are that schooled uh, in public public school public school they will still be mocked as uh, stated as oh you are sipping or China or something like that. And we say that those these two points is actually harming our children. Because it can trigger insecurity and also trauma from our children. The trauma can become like we can see that uh, there is a comic uh, comedian called Ernest Prakasa that he has this trauma because he's being mocked as China as China China or something like that. And we say that as parents we do, we want to we want the best for our children and we don't want that our children keep having this trauma and being insecure in the very first place because we say that. That uh, we also stated that even in our uh, even in if, even if our children be uh, schooled in a private school, we uh, that are grouped as a uh, that are grouped in a certain minorities, we say that it is still bad. Why? Because uh, their their, their world is not only the, uh, in the school. They, our uh, we can uh, we still have to match each other each other. For the example, like when you are going to a market, when you are going to a competition, you will still meet the majority people and so on and so forth. And we say that our status quo is not enough to actually uh, handle this pro the, uh, this discrimination coming from the majority. Why? Yes, because uh, yes, there's only uh, already the access of the blanket law that protecting from bullying and crimes. But we say that it is not enough because there is no law that charges for the discrimination or oppression coming uh, to coming to the minorities. That means that the judgmental for the societies will still exist, the slurs still exist, and every day our children feel this discri uh, being discriminated and being oppressed. They are stating like uh, they are uh, they are get this pre bad prejudice even from their friends and. And also, we say that it is not enough because even in the courtroom, the judges will still bias. The fact that in uh, that African American in U.S. charge more than Caucasian for the same crimes that pro that give to uh, that give proof to us that even in the law, this, uh, this law still being discriminate uh, still being discriminated. That's why we. Uh, that's why we want for our children to have the culture assimilate. As parents, uh, what we need to do first, we would also uh, we will still promote for protection for for marginal society uh, to oppose the this bias and bad prejudice. We say that uh, only promoting is not enough, and we need to uh, to go to the second step, which is to measure that our that the chance of our children to being believed to being oppressed is so small because we would like to teach them to uh, to. Having the culture coming from these majority people since they are still uh, 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 still they are, since they are young, and we say that promoting is not enough because what we want actually uh, what we want as parents is a protection. That but uh, 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 but when you when we are just only promoting but uh, by bringing the value and the suffer of minority, it will take a long time itself, ladies and gentlemen. To being accepted because the way that uh, that these people that the, uh, that uh, you want to create a law that protecting these minorities, you will have to say it to the House of Representatives that are representing all of the society. But we say that this House of Representatives is not uh, cater this minority enough because the the. Uh, the representative coming from the minorities is actually small. Yes, we can see right now there's a pass in that upholding these minorities, but we can see that the number of these people is not in uh, not that much comparing to the majority's people. That that that, that make us that we should uh, that we should teach our children to uh, assimilate with the majorities. Uh, why we should assimilate in this? Because majority. Uh, 
Because the reason why majority marginalizing you as a minority is, is because they think that you are different. They think that you are different coming from your look, coming from your, how you can behave, and uh, from your behavior and also the culture of it. We cannot change our looks, right? But the one that we can change is the, our behavior and our culture itself. By 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 goes uh, by goes uh, like what the majority is do, following what they are do, and so on and so far. We say that it is really important for us as parents because once again that we want is protection, and we cannot get the protection itself if we are using the the opposition of the house proposal. Because uh, we say that when you are just stuck in debt and trying to only promote thing, it won't uh, suddenly create a protection towards your children, right? And what if you want to be if you want being if you as a minority you want to be respected by the majority what you what you should do is also respecting them by acting like what they are too by uh by copying what are their behavior and so on and so forth. So at the end of the day, we say that culture assimilate is very important for us as minority. Now go to my second argument. Why? Even if our culture might be disappear, why it is still okay under our standards? First, we say no, our culture and our identity won't be disappear because the fact that you're still, you still, you rise and born, born from a minority family within a minority neighborhood, you will still have value for our, your own culture. You can still practice your own culture as a minority in in your family, in your neighborhood, and so on and so far. Maybe even if you are not born in a, in a minority neighborhood, you will still have a lot of influence coming from your family. You can still practicing it within your family, and also you will still have a long historical of your family, of your previous, of your grandfather, or, or something like that. And even if the culture might be, uh, uh, your culture, your, your true identity might be gone, we think that it is still okay, because we think culture is Culture is a form of society response to adapt with the situation. The reason why all, Jap all Japanese people being so polite is because all Japanese uh, government is being so dictators. Uh, for the SM, uh, for the for the for the proof, there's the system of casta itself. Like we you should. Uh, Respecting the people, uh, 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 people that have left, uh, upper level than you, which leading leading these uh, lower people to respecting and to give and uh, to act polite in front of them. And we say that respect is very important uh, to make sure that you are not given the that sentence, or we say as a bad prejudice by the upper, uh, upper level, uh, upper level, which is the majorities, because we say that majorities have more power because they have even they have more bargaining position and bargaining uh, bargaining position inside of the house of representatives. And we and lastly we say even if your cultures, uh, even if culture is not about surviving or something like that, we say if your own culture won't benefit you, why are you still keeping it? Because. Uh, because uh, where you still keeping it? Because but we uh, but we say that the most important thing is the survivability, and we're very proud to propose. Thank you.